Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Violence will be the norm in Emmerdale next week as Evil Jade takes Ross Barton's life before the bare knuckle fighting scenario which could also claim Aaron Dingle. In addition to Aaron falling and Ross being dangling from a bridge, Tom King is also attacked and found bleeding through. And blame spreads quickly as a result. But as Tom witnesses himself being burned on the bonfire, he quickly realizes how deeply he is hated. Kane Dingle is getting ready to banish Ross from the community, and Mandy Dingle needs to confess it's all happening. Laurel is taken aback on Monday, November 4th, when she discovers a bleeding Tom outside the church who says he was attacked. Since Jimmy is worried for his nephew's safety and assures him of his support, Tom's reluctance to visit A&E where the police station is swiftly dispelled. Sam is accused of assaulting Tom by Jimmy. Nicola affirms that until Tom departs, she and the children will be living apart. Chaz and Liam decide to keep their relationship hidden for the time being after witnessing Ella's pain. Tuesday, November 5th When Jade and her heavy clothing leap on Ross, he is caught off guard. Jade pushes Ross over a bridge and uses threats to get him to agree to a rematch with Billy, indicating that she also plans to endanger Billy's family. Billy is later troubled to discover Jade and Don drinking tea under false pretenses. As he prepares to battle Ross once more, Billy is thwarted by the obvious threat to his family. Trapped, Billy tries to explain to Ross that he is unable to participate in the rematch, but Ross reminds him of Jade's threats against their families. When Tom realizes that the guy being put on the pyre looks like him, he becomes nauseated. As the villagers watch the guy burn, tension builds at the bonfire. When the Dingles each accuse one another of creating the guy, Tom becomes frightened and snaps, taking it out on Amelia. Bob and a relieved Angelica reconcile. November 6, Wednesday When Don urgently informs Billy that Clemmy and Lucas are gone, Billy acknowledges that Jade may be involved. Reluctantly, Aaron confides in John about Robert, but when John presses him further about his emotions, Aaron becomes defensive and leaves. November 7, Thursday Ross is compelled to oblige when Jade insists that the fight take place at Butler's barn. Aaron is enlisted by Mac in case something goes wrong. When John shows up and informs them that the cops will soon arrive, the event comes to a sudden stop. Dino hits Aaron as they run from the cops because he can't find the money. As Aaron struggles to breathe, he passes out. The fact that Tina still lives next door to wishing well and claims the house as her own astounds Sam. Sam is upset to learn that Zach's will has been stolen. In order to conceal Vinny's parentage, Mandy unwillingly gives over Zach's will after being blackmailed by Tina. When Vinny defends Tina and argues that she's here to get to know her family rather than steal Zach's money, Mandy is furious despite the fact that she hides in front of the Dingles. Sam unintentionally discloses that Vinny has Liv's fortune as Tina tries to persuade him to sell the house while intoxicated. November 8, Friday After receiving encouragement from her spouse, Mandy confides in Patty. While Kane insists that Ross leave the community, Chaz worries for her son following his collapse. Even though Nicola King, played by Nicola Wheeler, has played a key role in some of the most compelling plots on Emmerdale, her personal life is much calmer. She is well known for being an outspoken and fiery figure on film, which frequently sparks controversy among viewers. But off-screen, Wheeler leads a quiet life in Yorkshire as a loving wife and mother, largely avoiding the spotlight with her boyfriend, according to The Mirror. She occasionally shares glimpses of her home and family life, though not much is known about Wheeler's love life, it is thought that she is married to a man named Matt. Her private husband is still mainly a mystery. The couple's relationship and marital details are not well known, and they have maintained a low profile by not appearing together in public at awards shows or other occasions. The general public is aware that Wheeler took a six-month hiatus from Emmerdale in 2015 after they welcomed a boy. The actress, who was born in Lancashire, tweeted with excitement about her pregnancy, thanks for all of your congratulations, but it's still a couple more weeks until it arrives. Unless he or she becomes impatient. Big congratulations to Wheeler and her baby boy, who arrived on Friday 13, was the tweet that Emmerdale's official account posted in April to celebrate the happy delivery. Leeds Live Reports
Nicola, 49, opened out to OK. Magazine about her spouse Matt's excellent parenting skills when their child was still a small child. I am extremely fortunate that my partner and I share childcare, she disclosed. However, we've stated that caring for the child all day is the most difficult task. It's like a vacation when I get to work. I can do things like browse the internet, shop, practice yoga, or simply relax and do nothing. Nicola has occasionally allowed her fans to see inside her traditional Yorkshire home, but she generally keeps her family life out of the spotlight on social media. A variety of Christmas snacks and a white-tiled kitchen with stylish marble worktops and entertaining decor are featured in festive tweets. A classic cast-iron fireplace in a brick setting is seen in a cozy photo that was posted, providing the cozy appeal of an actual Emmerdale home. The most notable feature is probably Nicola's garden, which serves as the ideal setting for her cherished pastime of beekeeping. Nicola, a devoted bee lover, previously said on Twitter, I just put my honeybees to bed for winter. They will all continue to buzz and go about their business until the elements tell them to stay inside, but I won't get involved until spring. Very peaceful hive, loads of honey and no stings this year. I'm grateful, ladies. Nicola had a hip replacement in 2022 and had to leave Emmerdale for health reasons. After being out of the public eye for a while, she discussed her operation in an interview with Holly and Phil on this morning. She giggled as she described her discussions about her return with the producers of Emmerdale. They said, what we are going to do is we are going to bring you back and beat you up. Is that okay? And I said, fine, but I can't throw myself on the floor. Because I was obviously still recovering, the stunt double did anything really physical. Her character was at the center of an intimidating gang attack plotline at the time. After her procedure, Nicola acknowledged to the sun that she was nervous about filming a thrilling vehicle chase scene, keep in mind, I had just had my hip replaced. Don't worry, they didn't bring me in too soon, I was completely recovered, she said. Yet she felt nervous, I probably was miles away, from Matthew Wolfenden, but I kept thinking, what if my foot slips, what if I do actually hit the back of his car? Fortunately, everything went off without a hitch, and everyone was safe. Emmerdale is set for a week of intense drama and jaw-dropping revelations as its most complex characters face brutal battles, family betrayals, and devastating decisions that may reshape their lives forever. As fights break out, secrets unravel, and alliances falter, the village becomes a pressure cooker of suspense and intrigue, and it seems no one is safe. Monday, November 4th the week kicks off with an unsettling discovery, a bloodied Tom King stumbles upon the church, shaken and injured. When Laurel finds him, she's horrified, but Tom refuses to seek medical help or contact the police. His uncle Jimmy, initially skeptical, jumps to defend Tom, sparking tension in the family. The air thickens with suspicion as Jimmy accuses Sam of being behind Tom's assault, while Nicola throws fuel on the fire, declaring she'll move out with the kids until Tom is gone. Meanwhile, Chaz and Liam, recognizing the hurt they've caused Ella, choose to keep their relationship under wraps. But how long can they manage that? Tuesday, November 5th. In a shocking twist, Ross Barton finds himself ambushed by Jade and her cronies. Thrown to the edge of a bridge, Ross is left dangling for his life as Jade delivers a chilling ultimatum, he must rematch with Billy, or his loved ones will pay the price. Billy, meanwhile, finds Jade at his home, sipping tea with Dawn, making it clear that the threat extends to his family as well. Bound by her manipulative hold, Billy faces a terrible choice, comply with her demands or risk endangering everyone he loves. As night falls, the village bonfire heats up, literally. Tom's horror grows when he sees an effigy resembling himself being tossed onto the flames. The villagers gather, amused by the sight, but for Tom, it's a humiliating and intimidating experience. As tensions simmer, Tom snaps, venting his frustration on Amelia. His isolation in the village becomes all too apparent. Wednesday, November 6th. The stakes rise further as Dawn becomes frantic upon realizing that her children, Clemmy and Lucas, are missing. She turns to Billy, who reluctantly admits that Jade might be involved. It's a race against time, with every second making the risk to his family more unbearable. With his hands tied, Billy begins to spiral, unsure how to protect those he loves. Aaron's battle, meanwhile, is a private but equally intense struggle. Confronted by John, Aaron finally opens up about Robert. 
But as John probes deeper, Aaron lashes out, unable to face the painful memories that John's questions evoke. It's clear he's struggling, but who will support him? Thursday, November 7th. Butler's barn is transformed into an arena of fear and fury as Jade forces Ross into yet another bare-knuckle fight, this time against Billy. Mac, sensing trouble, enlists Aaron to help keep things under control. But chaos ensues when John warns them that the police are on their way. A scramble to escape ensues, and amid the confusion, Dino strikes Aaron in a panic. Collapsing from the assault, Aaron struggles for air as the police close in. Meanwhile, the Dingles face a fresh betrayal as Sam learns that Tina has audaciously taken Zack's will. To make matters worse, Mandy, blackmailed and desperate to protect Vinny's secrets, hands over the document to Tina. The situation boils over when Vinny defends Tina, not realizing the web of lies being spun around him. Friday, November 8th. The climax of the week brings revelations and farewells. Mandy, burdened by the weight of her choices, confesses to Patty, seeking comfort from her husband. But will her admission bring relief or further turmoil? Meanwhile, Chaz is consumed with worry for Aaron after his collapse, while Kane's patience snaps. Declaring that Ross is no longer welcome, Kane demands he leave the village, issuing an ultimatum that shakes Ross to his core. As the dust settles, each character is left to reckon with the aftermath. Friendships have been tested, families fractured, and lives forever altered. If you're a dedicated Emmerdale fan, you probably know Nicola King, forthright, feisty, and fearless, a character who never shies away from a challenge or a dramatic storyline. Played by the talented Nicola Wheeler, Nicola King is a character who doesn't just walk into a room, she charges in, with no-nonsense, bold energy. Yet, away from the spotlight, Nicola Wheeler's life couldn't be more different from the character she brings to life on our screens. Her off-screen world is calm, centered around her family, her love of Yorkshire, and her surprising passion for beekeeping. 1. From the cobbled paths of Emmerdale to serene Yorkshire life. Nicola Wheeler may play one of the most opinionated characters in Emmerdale, but her real life is a world apart from the tensions and battles of the soap opera. In reality, Wheeler enjoys a peaceful existence in Yorkshire, where she finds solace away from the intensity of the showbiz life. Known to keep her private life just that, private, Nicola's dedication to her family life is profound. Her home is filled with warmth and character, a place of family gatherings, festive decorations, and a touch of the countryside charm. She occasionally shares glimpses of her home on social media, revealing a stylishly understated yet cozy interior that's a far cry from the drama of the Dales. Her quintessential Yorkshire home is complete with a charming white-tiled kitchen with chic marble countertops, perfect for those Christmas spreads and quiet family dinners. 2. A Mysterious Romance with Husband Matt, the man behind the scenes Much of Nicola's private life is, well, private. It's one of the few details she guards closely, choosing to keep her relationship with her husband, Matt, away from the public eye. Rarely photographed together and avoiding the glitz of red carpet appearances, Nicola and Matt have carved out a serene life for themselves in Yorkshire. Although there's little information available about Matt himself, it's clear that he and Nicola share a deep bond, built on mutual respect and a shared dedication to family. Their relationship blossomed quietly, and in 2015, the couple welcomed their son, a monumental moment in Nicola's life. Her joyous pregnancy announcement on social media brought a flood of love and congratulations from fans, while the couple continued to focus on their growing family away from the public gaze. For Nicola, this approach seems to work well, she's able to protect her private world while also embracing her life as one of British television's most iconic soap stars. 3. Balancing Work in Parenthood, A Star's Journey Through Motherhood after giving birth to her son, Nicola took a well-deserved six-month break from Emmerdale to focus on her new role as a mother. Describing the experience as rewarding yet intense, Nicola openly discussed her gratitude for Matt's involvement in their child's upbringing. Speaking to OK! Magazine, she candidly shared her appreciation, I am really lucky that me and my partner are sharing the childcare. But we have said that the hardest work is looking after the kid all day. Coming to work is like a holiday, she confessed, reflecting on the unique dynamic between her life on screen and her responsibilities at home. Nicola's return to Emmerdale after her maternity leave marked a memorable moment, both for the actress and her character, who soon found herself embroiled in yet another dramatic storyline. 
For Nicola, the balance of career and motherhood has been made possible by the support of her husband, who, she says, is an exemplary father to their child. For a Yorkshire gem, the hidden joys of Nicola Wheeler's garden. While Nicola is known for playing the fierce Nicola King, her real-life passion may surprise you. In her Yorkshire garden, Nicola indulges in beekeeping, a hobby she finds incredibly grounding. Known for her dedication to this unusual pastime, she lovingly tends to her hives and cares for her bees through the changing seasons. In one of her charming social media posts, Nicola wrote, Just put my honeybees to bed for winter. Really calm hive, not one sting this year and lots of honey. Thanks, girls. Beekeeping offers her a peaceful contrast to the relentless pace of filming, a unique hobby that connects her with nature and her home in Yorkshire. With the perfect blend of rural charm and a commitment to environmental care, Nicola's beekeeping passion is a testament to her love of simple, meaningful pursuits away from the cameras. 5. Returning to the Spotlight, Nicola's Health Journey and Resilience In 2022, Nicola faced a health challenge that briefly took her away from Emmerdale. After undergoing a hip replacement, she took some time to heal, making a strong recovery with a determined spirit. Speaking candidly on this morning, Nicola shared that her surgery didn't hold her back when it came to returning to the set. She laughed, recalling that producers welcomed her back with a tough storyline involving her character facing a gang attack. They said, what we are going to do is we are going to bring you back and beat you up, is that okay? Nicola shared, finding humor in the unexpected scenario. True to her resilient nature, Nicola returned to her role with her usual dedication, even managing a car chase seen post-recovery. 6. Embracing life with quiet strength As one of Emmerdale's most beloved actresses, Nicola Wheeler's portrayal of Nicola King continues to captivate audiences. Yet, her real-life story is a reminder of the quiet strength she possesses. A woman of few but meaningful words when it comes to her personal life, Nicola Wheeler has managed to balance fame with privacy, acting with motherhood, and drama with tranquility. And for her, that seems to be the ideal balance. In an industry that often demands so much of its stars, Nicola Wheeler's story is a refreshing reminder that sometimes the quietest lives are the ones richest in joy, love, and lasting memories. Next week on Emmerdale promises to be unforgettable, with blood on the streets, treachery under every roof, and hearts broken beyond repair. Ross Barton, Aaron Dingle, and Tom King each face their worst nightmares, all while the villagers get ready for their most dangerous bonfire night yet. How will they escape, and who will be left standing when the dust settles? Monday, November 4th, Blood on Sacred Ground A Shocking Discovery Laurel finds a battered and bloody Tom King outside the church, clutching his injuries and refusing to go to a &E or the police. Is he hiding something, or is he too terrified to seek justice? The mystery surrounding his assault sends ripples of fear through the village. Family tensions explode. Jimmy quickly discards his initial skepticism, rallying behind Tom and blaming Sam for the attack. As tension mounts, Nicola drops a bombshell, telling Jimmy she'll take the kids and move out if Tom remains. The family begins to unravel in the face of Tom's trauma. Secret relationships and hidden guilt. Chaz and Liam, seeing the pain caused to Ella, agree to keep their relationship a secret. But how long will their feelings remain hidden, and will guilt eat away at their resolve? Tuesday, November 5th, Bridge Betrayals and Bonfire Humiliation. Ross in grave danger. Ross Barton is ambushed by Jade and her gang, thrown to the edge of a bridge, and forced into a deadly rematch with Billy. Jade's threats extend to Billy's family, leaving both men trapped in a perilous fight neither wants. Jade's ruthless power play. Billy is horrified to find Jade at his house, chatting with Dawn as though they're old friends. Her cold-hearted manipulation makes her intentions clear, she'll ruin his family if he doesn't play along. Bonfire Night Shock Tom arrives at the village bonfire only to find an effigy resembling himself being set ablaze. The villagers watch as the likeness burns, some amused, others unsettled. Humiliated, Tom's patience snaps, and he lashes out at Amelia, showcasing a simmering rage within him. Wednesday, November 6, Lost Children and Confessions A Parent's Worst Nightmare Don and Billy are thrown into turmoil when they discover that Clemmy and Lucas are missing. 
Billy, fearing Jade's involvement, is haunted by dread. How much more will his family suffer under her threats? Aaron's burden. Aaron, emotionally fragile, opens up to John about Robert, only to feel pressured by John's probing questions. Unable to handle the emotional weight, Aaron storms out, retreating into anger and isolation.